Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and for today I will make a guide for you guys on how to power level in Brave Frontier. So you guys might ask, uh, why do I need those levels? Uh, first of all, uh, of course, you will need your levels to get more energy and secondly, more cost to fit all your 7 stars or omni units in your squad. Uh, usually uh, around level 200-ish, uh, you can all already fit some of that 7 stars units that you have. So yeah, around level 210-ish, uh, you will already can fit all the Omni units in your squad. If you just started to play this game, I think uh, you should try to at least aim for level 200 as soon as possible. And also, there is a level up campaign here in Global. Uh, you will get a lot of good rewards with that. Uh, some of the good rewards will come at 250, uh, which is Buffer Jewel. And three, level 300, you will get a good sphere as well. It's a Revelation Book. You will need that to craft other spheres as well later on. And at level 350, you will get the, your first Occult Treasure. Uh, that sphere is a 40% all stats sphere so that is really really good for you guys if you guys want to see uh, what rewards you will get by leveling up you can go here to Randall and go to Acres Summoners Hall go to missions records and then just go to general on the top left here so you'll check it out here so these ones will be the one that show you what rewards you will get. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to make this video as short as possible so you guys can check it out for yourself later. And also, while you, are, while you guys are leveling up, don't forget to stock up on those uh, totems, mimics, bots, idols, and try not to spend all your free gems or the gems that you have on summons only. So try to ex at least expand some of your item capacity and unit capacity as well so how do we level up so fast how how do we get to those needed level as soon as possible uh, one of the best method is you do your Monday vortex every time on Monday so just spam it there you can leave it on repetition without worrying about your items get full or anything you will not get anything from that but you will get a lot of karma and yeah those vortex will be up on every Monday so you can spam all your energy there on Mondays that is the fastest method to level up so the karma dungeon on Mondays and what do we do uh, outside of those Monday vortexes there's no other way just to than to do your normal quest um, the first one that will give you the best experience ratio is here I'll just show it to you guys so the place will be Grand Gaia and it's on Mistral on Saint Lamia map and it will be at the Saint Lamia Palace and the quest will be this one the fourfold pillar it's the one before the last quest it will only require you to have 10 energy and it only has 11 encounters. Mm, this one is the best one if you are still on your low levels and you don't have that much energy to spend with. This one will give you about 2600 experience per run. So the ratio here is uh, 260 experience per one energy and this one is the best one you can find and as as you go up on those levels and you get more energy and you get more cost just try to complete all the maps here on Grand Gaia just keep on going and get your gems as you go up on those quest the next one that will have the good the best experience ratio is here at Frixia and just go here to Frixia so it's the middle one this one has three sections go to the middle one Frixia go to Aiden's Tower and the one that you will want to do is Narrow Stairs this one the one before the last one this one will 
require you to have 21 energy and it also has 11 encounters this one will give you about 6700 experience per run so the ratio here is better than uh, Saint Lamia this one is 319 experience per one energy spent so this one's really good and this place is actually one of the good places to farm for your Mifune uh, you will not always encounter him but sometimes if you un encounter him you can capture him so yeah I sometimes do it here and then you have more energy and more cost as well try to complete all the maps here and climb up your way to Atarfa this one it only have one section and it is one of the best still one of the best right now for getting your experience so Atarfa Crystal Palace here and do the last one uh, changing the world it requires 25 energy and it has 13 encounters and if you really need those uh, BV fodders for your enhancements for your support for your healers for your attack gold as well and all the other drops for your Fujin's revives this one is also one of the good places to farm for those uh, this one will give you about 8300 experience per run so it is actually a bit better not a bit better it's better a much better than Frixia this one will give you 332 experience per one energy I would also like to add this one uh, if you guys are leveling up you will also need those Fujin's uh, revives and all that and I got this a lot so a lot of you are asking me where to farm for those especially on Fujins this one I will show you guys where so it will be this one so go to Frixia and it will be the first map on this area okay Lanara just go to this one Analcade I mean Elnacade Castle and just do this one the last one call of the storm it requires 23 energy with 12 encounters and just try to bring a lead like Seruya or Cell Knight or Nick on this quest by doing it here you will get at least 20 of those Fujin eyes and those yellow stone that you will need for those Fujins and yes this one is the best place to do it so you can farm for your Fujins here all day long and you will have an unlimited supply of Fujins in the future and for revives uh, those are really common in drops so you can do it anywhere so I'm not going to tell you where to get it because I have a lot of revives and I just do it randomly so yeah but Fujins I think you guys need to know where to farm for the Fujins so alright you, you can now farm at Atarfa and if you can beat this boss uh, which is Ariely and Tesla I think yeah I'm pretty sure you can complete all the maps that this game has to offer so just climb your way up and clear all the maps on Grand Gaia and also on Ishgria on Ishgria there are only two places that are good for gaining your experience uh, those are the first one is actually this one is still the best currently which is Wulgi so this one Wulgi and go to Forsaken Castle Biorad this one's the last map for the this map the last quest section so just go there and do this one losing oneself it requires 25 energy and it has 12 encounters this one will give you 8440 experience per run and it really has a fast completion time and this one if you calculate it it will give you 337.6 experience per one energy so this one is really the best one to do to get your experiences uh, the bad thing about Ishkria is that you don't really have that good capture rate on BB fodders and all the other things so if you just want your experience you can do it here 
the last boss will be Mellard and you can kill it in one or two turns so even with four units or so I'll show it to you guys by doing it after this there's also actually one good place as well to get your experience which is Estria so this one Estria it will be the last quest here uh, Demon Castle Estria and it will be the yeah it is the gathering power this one the one before the last quest it requires 25 energy with 12 encounters and the last boss here will be Morad and this one's annoying since there are some conversations that you still need to tap on to get through it but this one will give you 8600 experience per run and the ratio is 244 experience per one energy spent so this one's really good but it's not really good for auto run or repetition and the bad thing is if you want your honors if you want to farm for your honors this one is really a bad place since the guest is predetermined and you will only get to bring Syria as your guest so no don't do it don't do it on this one unless you don't need those honors just do it at Wolgi yep Wolgi so I will just do this once and I'll show it to you guys and I'll explain a bit more on the level up campaign thing because you will also get a lot of good stuff from it so I will just bring Cell Knight so this is my squad my leader will be Cell Knight nothing else just occult treasure and sacred gem burn Silas and I will bring a Cell Knight friend here so if you want those levels you can use a Cell Knight leader or Seruya leader to get those and if you bring two double leads uh, like Cell Knight and Teruya, you will get 24% bonus experience on all these quests. So I really suggest you guys doing it this way. By bringing only 4 units here, uh, you will cut down on a lot of animation time and it will be a lot faster. Okay, I'll just leave it on auto and I'll tell you guys some more things on the level up campaign rewards so what will you get after 350 which is occult treasure so the good things will come a lot longer so this is why you guys really actually need to get those level up fast it will be a lot of struggle it will be a lot of time wasted on it and at level 600 you will actually get an elegant and this one is really really good uh, him of truth and ruin this one will give you 50% boost to attack boost spark damage by 50% as well and critical damage I think this one also will boost your critical damage by 50% and ignores enemy defense okay this one's really really good so it's good for everything and also for your mega metal parade runs and you will get this at level 600 even I am still not level 400 so this one will come a long way for me as well and the next good thing will come at level 700 Arr. I can't imagine how long I will get this one. Uh, this one you will also get an L gift, which is Miracle of the God Origin. Uh, this one will boost 40% to all your parameters. So it's like an occult jewel, but it has some more effects into it. Uh, negates status ailments, so null status ailments. You will be immune to everything, and also immune to elemental weakness damage. This one is really really good I really want this one but level 700 is still a long way to go even for me the next one you will get is at level 800 it is also an L gift uh, this the name of this one is heroic bonds this one will add all elements to attack Wow six elements that's cool and boost your BB attack by 
150% boost. Very good. This one's really really good. And you will also boost your OD gauge fill rate by 14%. Crazy. Wow. And the last part is actually it will give you more normal hits amount. Plus 2 hits. So it will triple your normal hits. Wow. This one is very very good. But it's missing the boost to all parameters which is not really good so this one is a really good one for your offensive units and also the next one you will get an L gift at level 900 ah oh, it's a really really long way but I'll get there eventually this one's also an L gift uh, the name is healers lament it will boost your max HP by 50% Wow and damage taken will heal your HP and also heals HP to full each turn crazy Wow Wow this one's really good and the amount of HP healed by damage taken is 30% of the damage taken so this one is I think this one has a 100% chance on proccing this one's really 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 good all right now the last one this is the most OP thing in the game so you will get this nasty sphere at level 999 and I only know one guy who has this there's only one guy in the game that is level 999 which is I think you guys know Radius yeah uh, this fear is heaven's edge it only says this in the game grants a myriad of abilities okay if you guys want to know it's going to be a really really long one so 150% boost to all parameters 150% ouch and it's not the only one you will get you will also get 25% boost to critical hit rate 100% boost to critical and elemental damage 200% boost to normal BB attack 300% boost to SBB attack and 500% boost to UBB attack Wow adds all elements to attack 100% boost to damage against status afflicted foes doubles normal hit count with 50% damage penalty 50% boost to OD gauge fill rate and 50% chance to ignore defense and the last part is 150% boost to spark damage oh <laughs> this is crazy but you know what level 999 it will take me years it will take me years I, I don't know when I will get there because I don't normally jump for all my energy to level up I just do it the normal way but if you guys are crazy enough to jam for the experience to get this one you guys are still welcome but okay those those are all the things that you will get from all the level up campaign these are really really OP so yeah guys uh, level up really fast just do it at the rate of what you're capable of don't force it unless you have tons of money lying around and you don't know what to use it for so yeah that's it and we just finished our quest here so let's check out how much experience I get with two cell knights and it's currently a double experience event it still will last for nine or ten days so you guys can do it now yeah get those levels for you guys get those heaven edge get the dev heavens edge as soon as possible all right I got 20,256 experience for one run so yeah that's it that is a lot that's a lot and yeah, that's I guess that's it for all the power up power level guide. So yeah, now you guys know 
where to get those level up so fast. And good luck to you guys! Like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you also want your friends to know where to get those experiences up. And if you are new to my channel, this is a really good time to subscribe. Just press that fun button over there. And I thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. It's now 20k by the way. And yeah, thank you for watching guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. What? Sure.